Okay, and we're live. So, you guys, it is May 18th, and that is St. Helens Day for me because I was alive. Uh, 40 years ago, Mount St. Helens blew, and it was crazy because it was the middle of the day, and all of a sudden it started to get dark, like really dark, like nighttime sky, and then this white ash started to come out of the sky, and ask your parents, it was just crazy, and then they really shut down everything, but only for like about two weeks compared to now but anyway here we go so and then if we think about this we only got like maybe 15 days of school left 15 days and we'll be done so and we got a three-day weekend coming up how do you like that um so back to this if you have not got chapter eight done please get it done um i don't know quite how we're gonna do um incompletes but i might be putting kids on contracts to get incompletes done this summer that'd be a real drag okay if you want credit for the class you gotta do the class so tell your friends your lazy friends to get their butts going okay and i will be emailing more parents anyway let's talk about um homework homework was hard um and you really needed to have uh desmos to do it so let's take a look at what i have so here number six after i graphed it um, use the, the distance formula, I got about 4.9. Same thing here after I graphed it, and use the distance formula. I had to use Desmos to get these points, I got about 0 0.8. Um, 8, um, same thing, I got the graph of 8 over here, and I had to use Desmos to get these points, and then I used my distance formula on 8 over here. 9, I graphed it here, and I needed Desmos to get these values here. And then after using the distance formula, I got about 1.7. Finally on 10, I had to get my point, and that wasn't so bad, but again, I needed Desmos to get that point here. It's about 2.7, negative 1. And then I needed to use the distance formula, I got about 7.6. So those were hard problems. Those are going to be more like extra credit type problems we're going to see on the test tomorrow, because we have a test tomorrow. Okay, so here, what about the review? If you need and want to copy the review, please let me know, okay? I'm just going to go through it. If you just want to copy it down on a piece of paper and show it to me, that's fine also. But if you really want to copy just ask and I'll send you a copy, okay? So, skew lines. Those are lines that are not going to parallel. They're not parallel. They're not going to intersect. So, for instance, like LM and probably like KR. So, I don't know if you guys can see this on the film, but be like two dimension, three dimensional, like this. They don't intersect. They don't intersect, but they cross over each other. Those are skew lines. They're in different planes. Perpendicular lines, that's easy. Probably if this is, um, I'd say it's perpendicular right there. So probably NQ with QP. Parallel lines, um, that's easy. You can have like these two are parallel. A pair of intersecting planes. Intersecting planes. Now, plane has to be the flat surface. So maybe I'd say, all of, I'll give you QRSP. QRSP intersects like probably the front of it like be n m q p n m q p okay they they intersect and they intersect like right there okay um five find the value of x uh they've got to be equal because they're alternate x angles so just take your 3x set it equal to your 5x minus 6 64 whoops 64 get the value of x when you get the value of x these two when you get the value of x these two have to add up to 180 degrees. So when you get x, let's see, I'd have 2x equals 64, x equals 32. I plug 32 in, um, 5 times 32, I don't know, times 32, minus 64, okay, I get 96, so y plus, that's 96, so let me write that in there. And I don't want to do all of this because I want you to do it, but y plus 96 equals 180. Okay, it's straight line, 180 degrees. Um, six, these are corresponding angles, so they're equal. So find the value of x. Once you get the value of x, I know 2y, those are vertical angles, that so 2y is equal to 59, and you can solve that. And I know these two are equal. That's your 3x minus 4 equals your 59, okay? And you can do that because I have faith you can do that, okay? Um, consecutive interior angles, okay, it makes the c like you can see probably two and five angle two and angle five consecutive interior 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 right there on the inside they're consecutive alternate interior makes the z pattern so probably two and seven 
and there are others, okay? Corresponding makes the F, maybe two and six makes the F, or maybe four and eight, there's a bunch of alternate X here, like one and eight, I'll let you do that. Vertical, make the V, see the V, the verticals, two and three, or one and four, I'll let you do that. 12, um, yeah, these add up to 180, so I'd say L is parallel to, to M, but I don't think in a QR, um, 13, yeah, those two are parallel because of the 90, 90. Slopes of perpendicular lines are what we call negative reciprocals. Or just give me an example, like maybe say two thirds and the opposite of that would be negative three over two. So you can just show me um, an example. If this word doesn't mean anything to you, see how they're opposite, they're flipped. They're flipped, they're upside down, and one's positive, one's negative, okay? Parallel lines have the same slope, right? The same slope, okay? We know that. Um, on bad, next page again. Um, okay, so with the slope of the given line, well, that's got to be negative 1. You guys can see so perpendicular line. So if this is m equals negative 1 over 1, so then a perpendicular line's got to be the opposite, right? A positive 1 over 1. Okay, so now the equation of a perpendicular line, and it's got, we all want it to go through this point right here, right? So probably, remember y equals mx plus b, you can get that, and I'll show you the answers tomorrow. So um, the solution to the simultaneous equation is gonna be right there, that point right there. They intersect at the point two, one. Um, and then if you wanna use the distance formula, point a, has got to be your um, 0, negative 1, and your point B would be at 2, 1, and you just have to use your distance, okay? You can do this. I have faith in you, okay? All right. Now, this one, okay? Find the distance between the parallel lines, okay? So first of all, um, gosh, graph paper would be really cool. I'm going to do this on a piece of graph paper because I don't think I've got enough going on here, okay? I want you to try this. I'm going to set you up, but I'm going to put a graph here so I have more. Um, okay, I have a y equals a negative x plus 3 and a y equals a negative x plus 7. I think we did this one once. So, first line. Let's see what color do I have? Green. I have a green. I like green. Down over 1, down over 1, down over 1, down over 1. Okay, I like green. Hopefully you guys can see the green. Okay, and go all the way up to seven. Let's see, I got a purple. Got a purple? Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. Down, 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 down. Okay. Okay. Draw that one in. Okay. Um, sure seems like right there is a great spot to find out how far apart they are. So I want this length right there. Oh, wrong color. I want this color. There you go, this color. So look at that length right there. Fortunately, this is an easy one. I have a point here at 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 5 is point A, and there's point B. So let's go back to this slope of the, of the perpendicular line. We've got the slope of the perpendicular line. It's got to be up 1 over 1, offset. Equation this line's got to be a y equals an up 1 over 1 x plus. 3. Solution, simultaneous solution is 2, 5. And then the distance form, if you want to find out the distance between them, I've got point A, which is 2, 5, point B, which is 0, 3, and we'll just use the distance formula of point A and point B. Here's my distance formula. Remember, point A is at 2, 5, and point B. B is at zero, three. Okay, so why don't you do this and send me a picture of it. If you want a picture of the review, just ask me and I'll send it to you. Um, and then we'll look at the answers to this tomorrow as well as we'll look at um, the test. Okay, so there you go. I'll talk to you tomorrow.